Hello everyone. Today, we will be exploring the fascinating world of communication styles, specifically passive, aggressive, and assertive communication. Understanding these styles is crucial for fostering healthy relationships and effective interpersonal communication. So, let's dive in. Passive communication is characterized by a reluctance to express one's needs, desires, or opinions. Individuals using passive communication often avoid confrontation, leading to unmet needs and unaddressed concerns. This style tends to undermine one's own rights, resulting in feelings of frustration and dissatisfaction. For example, agreeing with others to avoid conflict, even when disagreeing internally. Apologizing excessively, even when not at fault. And, failing to express personal preferences or opinions. On the other end of the spectrum, we have aggressive communication. This involves expressing one's needs, desires, or opinions at the expense of others. Aggressive communicators may dominate, intimidate, or belittle others, leading to strained relationships and a hostile atmosphere. For instance, interrupting others frequently to assert dominance. Using insults or derogatory language to make a point. And, ignoring others' perspectives while imposing one's own views forcefully. Now, let's explore the middle ground, assertive communication. This style strikes a balance between passive and aggressive approaches, involving the expression of one's needs, desires, and opinions while respecting the rights and feelings of others. Assertive communicators are clear, confident, and open to dialogue, fostering healthy relationships and effective problem-solving. For example, clearly stating one's opinions and preferences without aggression. Using I statements to express feelings and needs. And, importantly, actively listening and responding empathetically to others. Now. Let's observe the difference among these three styles of communication in various aspects. Expression of Opinions Passive Communication Individuals adopting a passive communication style tend to be reluctant and avoid expressing their opinions. This reluctance can stem from a fear of conflict or a desire to please others, even at the expense of suppressing their own viewpoints. Aggressive Communication in contrast, aggressive communicators dominate conversations, imposing their opinions forcefully. This style can lead to an atmosphere of intimidation, where others may feel reluctant to express their views due to the aggressive nature of the interaction. Assertive communication Assertive communicators strike a balance, expressing opinions clearly and confidently without dominating. This style encourages open dialogue and allows for the respectful exchange of ideas, handling conflict. Passive Communication Passive communicators often avoid conflict at all costs, which may result in unaddressed issues and unmet needs. The reluctance to confront problems directly can lead to a buildup of dissatisfaction over time. Aggressive Communication Aggressive communicators engage in conflict aggressively, potentially escalating situations and creating a hostile environment. This confrontational approach can strain relationships and hinder constructive problem-solving. Assertive communication Assertive communicators address conflict openly and constructively. They approach disagreements with a willingness to understand others' perspectives and work collaboratively towards resolutions. This fosters a healthy and positive atmosphere. Respect for others. Passive communication. In passive communication, there is a tendency to prioritize others' needs over one's own. While this may seem considerate, it can lead to personal dissatisfaction and unmet needs. Aggressive communication. Aggressive communicators may disregard others' feelings and rights, focusing solely on asserting their own needs and opinions. This can create a one-sided and oppressive dynamic in relationships. Assertive communication Assertive communicators strike a balance, respecting both their own rights and the rights and feelings of others. 
This mutual respect forms the foundation for healthy and harmonious relationships. Body language. Passive communication. Passive communicators often display submissive body language, avoiding eye contact and presenting themselves in a way that may be perceived as hesitant or insecure. Aggressive communication. Aggressive communicators exhibit intimidating body language with intense eye contact and gestures. This dominance in body language can contribute to an atmosphere of tension and discomfort. Assertive communication. Assertive communicators use open and confident body language, maintaining appropriate eye contact. This projects self-assurance without dominating or intimidating others. Impact on relationships. Passive communication. Passive communication may lead to unmet needs and dissatisfaction in relationships as individuals may struggle to express themselves and have their needs acknowledged. Aggressive communication Strained relationships are a common outcome of aggressive communication. The dominance and disregard for others' feelings can create a toxic environment, eroding trust and understanding. Assertive communication Assertive communication fosters healthy relationships and understanding. By respecting the rights and feelings of all parties involved, assertive communicators contribute to positive and mutually beneficial connections. In wrapping up our exploration of communication styles, we have uncovered the intricate dynamics of passive, aggressive, and assertive approaches. Recognizing these styles and their impacts is crucial for fostering healthy relationships and effective communication in both personal and professional spheres. Remember. Communication is not just about the words we use but also the way we express ourselves and listen to others. Passive communication, with its reluctance to express opinions, can lead to unmet needs. On the other hand, aggressive communication, while forceful, often results in strained relationships and a hostile atmosphere. But there's a sweet spot, assertive communication. It allows for the clear, confident expression of opinions while respecting the rights and feelings of others. This balanced approach contributes to open dialogue, constructive conflict resolution, and the cultivation of healthy, meaningful relationships. As you navigate your communication journey, strive for assertiveness. It's a skill that can be honed and refined, enriching your interactions and contributing to a positive and collaborative environment. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the intricacies of communication styles. If you found this content valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your engagement fuels this space for more insightful discussions. Until next time, keep communicating assertively, and remember, your voice matters.